Imagine a world where you can track your energy consumption, identify the most cost-effective times to use energy, and make your home greener. What if you could program appliances to dry clothes or wash dishes in the middle of the night so you could use less energy and reduce your costs? What if power companies could be notified of outages immediately or even prevent them ahead of time? What if they could calibrate their own energy production based on the ways homes, businesses, and others consume energy? With smart grid technology, we can do all of that. This two-way communication system enables energy consumers to communicate data to and from power companies, increasing the efficiency, reliability, and sustainability of electric networks. Smart grids are well on their way to revolutionizing the power industry, and this technology is being developed right here in the Triangle region. So we were part of a research study in early 2001 uh, to help understand the region's clean tech cluster. What's here? How many firms? Uh, what are our assets that have really made the region an exceptional place for clean tech companies to locate? And we found that there are over 60 firms and 100 firm locations in the triangle. So we're obviously doing something right. What, One what a clean tech cluster uh, achieves is in an area in the, in the research triangle region, uh, it is possible to create a climate where businesses will invest. Uh, so a part of the reason might be there are great universities from which they can hire people. But if it goes beyond that, if it goes to where people are collaborating, there are initiatives, and there are actual uh, initiatives uh, taking place that foster uh, activity in industry, then they will yeah. come. I mean, and so having a purposeful clean tech cluster will really be able to put together the, you know, the, the capital we have here with regards to all the research that's going on with Smart Grid and, and actually put a dot on the map for actually deploying and putting into use that uh, technology through the electric transportation. The Institute for Emerging Issues really focuses on issues that North Carolina is uh, needs to be ready for in the next several years. And clean tech is one of those. We work as a convening organization. We bring people together to solve difficult problems. And so um, clean tech is not a difficult problem. It just needs to have the vision and the energy for people to roll up their sleeves and get around a table and say, how do we see our um, our region moving in this direction? What do we want to invest in? What do we want to take um, next steps for?